37. 37. Yeah. I seem to always be two days behind. I yeah. told someone it was 39 <laughs> earlier. Okay, so NST. Yes, NST 21. You introduced yourself. Yeah, I was sitting with my friend. Yeah. Yeah. And here we are. Yeah. Well, we have had the privilege of serving on the same team before we're married. Mm -hmm. which is a good taste, you know, I think of what it's going to be like. Um, we've both experienced it too. Like I was a student, my missionary was married. Mm -hmm. She was a missionary and her team director was married. So we both got to be around those, those yeah. graces and the, the invite into a home, a married home is so much different than an invite to mm -hmm. a single bachelor. You know, it's like, there's something powerful there. There's, there's something where like, you know, maybe one of Bridget's girls looks to Bridget, but hopefully in the future that that girl can look to both of us. And the same with my guys. They're like, I can go to Brennan and Bridget with this and I can be invited into their home and be loved there. I think I've said this many times, but just being one in everything, right? Like everything is shared. It was the difference from dating to engagement, everything went from what if to when this happens. But now it's gonna be a transition from when uh, to it is, you know, like I'll share a home with you. I'll share a schedule more or less with you. Um, I'll have to share desires with you, whether I do or don't immediately. Um, and I'm excited for that just to be one because i don't know i feel like i've been waiting for it for so long yeah i think that in engagement i have found like it's been very transitory like it's not just like a time of waiting until the next thing like the next life transition happens it's like it, it itself is growing closer to being one and so yeah, while there's a lot of like painful dying to self, allowing your desires to change so that when you are married, you actually do desire to die for one another. There's a lot of pain in that, but there's also a lot of joyful anticipation that one day, yeah, it's it's partners for life. It's yeah, getting to be able to share desires and dreams together. So I'd say that as well. Hmm. Also a home and family. Yeah. I was talking to my friend, Nora St. Germain, and she just said like, yeah, the, the road trips and the sleepovers and all the fun things that you can do with girls as a single campus missionary, they're great and they're transformative and they're impactful for students. She's like, I was praying a rosary with a student whose family was really struggling and Lucas, her husband just walked in, pulled out his rosary, sat down on the ground and continued to pray with them. And she's like, that's what my students talk about. You know, like that's what's gonna have the lasting impact on them is is our shared mission as a couple so that was good advice <laughs>